This is a very limited edition laptop. Find out why in a second. Well, this very special laptop is a pre-production model of MSI's new GS30. It's a 13-inch gaming notebook with a very big twist. It doesn't have an onboard GPU. It uses Intel's Aris Pro graphics when you have the ultra light notebook around and out and about to power what will be a 2560 by 1440 display which is just awesome. On the side you'll find a ventilation hole for the yet unannounced Intel Core i7 CPU, a USB 3 port, a microphone and headphone jacks and along the front is an awesome design feature which is a white LED strip that acts effectively as your power LED. This stretches around the corner slightly as well and makes this thing look awesome. You also have charging and hard drive activity LEDs in the middle. On the right you'll find the power in, Ethernet, HDMI, another USB 3 port and an SD card reader. You'll also see that curved edge for that LED around the front as well. Once you get to the back you'll start to see the magic of this really uniquely designed notebook. As you can see, once I jam my finger into the spring loaded covers, this laptop has a PCI bridge effectively hanging at the back of it. This connector pairs with what MSI are calling the gaming dock, and I assume is something you'll be buying with the laptop, not just a must-have accessory. You may have seen some pictures or a press release about this, and have wondered how it worked or if it was even worth it. Well, we're here to answer those questions. The gaming dock is a stylish black box with metal accents and is fronted by three speakers, which is nice as you don't have to go and buy another set, as long as the quality, which is surprisingly good, is to your taste. On the side of the dock, on the top of the dock, sorry, as the name would suggest, is the docking station part, which is a slidable tray that locks the GS30 in place, with a female proprietary PCI connector at the back. Using the locking tab at the side and the lever, you are able to move the tray forward and put the laptop on it. Once you have the tray forward and the laptop is sitting in the right place, you can pull the lever back until it's firmly locked in place, which means the laptop is connected to the dock and ready to be used. Currently the laptop has to be fully off before connecting or disconnecting it from the dock, as hot plugging PCI cards just still isn't a thing. Another thing to note is that once the laptop is on the dock, the internal display is currently not able to be used. You have to use an external monitor connected to the graphics card inside the dock. To take the laptop off, make sure the device is fully off, then push the lock tab to the unlocked position, and then pull the lever back. To show you the docking procedure from the side, you can really see it is very simple, although currently you are able to lift up the front of the laptop, which I assume could cause damage if you are to try to take it off while it was still in the locked position, which is something that MSI might want to address before the full launch. One thing I did note is that if the laptop is on and you try and even touch that unlocked uh, locker unlock tab, the both the device and the gaming dock instantly shut off and sound loud beeps, so that uh, basically you can protect the components inside. On the side of the gaming dock, you find what I believe is a 120 mm fan, a power button, microphone and headphone jacks, a gigabit Ethernet port, and four USB 3 ports. On the other side, you'll find the standard gigabit, uh, so the standard kettle lead input, and whatever rear I/O the graphics card that you put in come with. To take a closer look at everything, I wanted to show you the female end of the PCI lane. It has two angled teeth at either end to force the shutters open, then a notch slot for the connector to slide into. We were a little bit naughty and took the bottom of the laptop off to see what's going on under the hood. Please remember that this is a pre-production sample unit so it's likely to change and could be completely different by the time we do a full review later. According to the press release, this will have two M SATA SSDs, uh, sorry, M2, M.2 SSDs in what they call Super RAID 2, which is basically, I assume, RAID 0. It will likely have a varying amount of RAM depending on the model you get, and will have an i7 powering it. Inside the gaming dock, you'll find the three fronted speakers, as well as a LED backlight uh, for the top, and then you'll find what I assume is going to be an empty slot for whatever graphics card you have. The power supply comes equipped with two 8-pin connectors, so make sure you don't have anything too tediously, you know, powering to uh, put in this beast. It also has a hard drive dock at the bottom, although right now I'm not sure if it's driver support or what, but it doesn't seem to recognise this drive at this very second in time, but obviously this is subject to change and will likely work once they do the full release. In the power supply itself looks like either a custom made job or a SFX power supply with very confusingly limited but 
cool functionality for the connectors as it does have those two 8 pins and then it also has a power button uh, with the ribbon cable on the back as you can see and then there are the two connectors that connect to the front panel for the LED and the speakers. The graphics card we have in it right now is a MSI GTX 980 Gaming 4G. Something that we've already reviewed in the past, so please click the graphics card if you want more information. Once you have the laptop connected to the dock and an external display, keyboard and mouse connected as well, you can hit the power button on the side of the dock and as if by magic, it should work just fine. You're still able to use the keyboard and mouse on the laptop if you needed to, but bear in mind that currently the laptop doesn't have any power switching modes when you connect it to the dock, which means when you close the lid again, the laptop just goes to sleep. Obviously you can change this manually if you really wanted to and you're less likely to actually be using the keyboard and mouse on the laptop but it's just something to note. As you can see, once you have the laptop on the dock, gaming is effortless with the GTX 980 that we have hit hiding inside. I like the idea of having a hard drive inside as well, meaning you could store all of your Steam games on there and then have your basic programs and such on the RAID array of SSDs inside a laptop, meaning you'd have plenty of free space with no need for external hard drives or NASes. The perfect scenario for this laptop is most likely if you're a student like me. You can game the night away, then come in the morning when you need a note taking and research paper writing device, you can just take it off the dock, shove it in your bag and run to class. This device is light as a feather and it really surprised me of how freaking light it is. Of course, once you add it to the dock it's pretty heavy, but for a car carry around laptop, especially because this thing is 13 inches, it's just amazing. As I said, this thing for off the dock is still great for everyday use, such as web browsing, note taking or even things like programming if you really wanted to. The AC Wi-Fi works brilliantly and seems to be incredibly strong in terms of signal strength which is definitely a plus. It also has Bluetooth 4.0 uh, built in which is cool if you want to be able to transfer files easily from something like your phone. So unfortunately this pretty much concludes the video I'm afraid, as we're not allowed to announce anything like benchmark results, detail specs of the unit or really anything that we haven't already shown you. In fact we might have all accidentally gone over the limit showing you inside both of the devices, so fingers crossed we don't suddenly get murdered by MSI. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, my initial thoughts on it is that it is really an amazing little machine, it's a great concept with a few kinks that could likely be ironed out pretty easily. So would I buy one? Yes. Is it awesome? Hell yeah. Am I going to be able to afford one? Likely no, but I'd probably give it an arm and a leg trying anyway. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did playing with the awesome little laptop. Stick around for the full, re full review soon and otherwise that's pretty much it. Don't forget to comment about any questions you have or anything you'd like to see. Like and subscribe if you fancy it and check out some of the other videos. Otherwise that's pretty much it and as I said we'll see you all in the next one. So thanks for watching this Tech Team GB video, you've probably seen enough of me already so I'm going to go away. Right after I say, if you haven't already like or dislike, just let us know why in the comments down below as well. Um, check out some of our other videos, hopefully there'll be some somewhere around me. And then also um, feel free to subscribe as well, that really helps us out. Um, and yeah, obviously it shows companies that you love us. So if you do love us, check us out on Facebook or Twitter, hopefully there will also be some stuff around here maybe. Um, but otherwise that's pretty much it from me, so we'll see you all in the next video.